Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about some of the new discoveries coming out of Hubble telescope in regards to the gas giants of our own solar system, the so-called grand tour of the solar system. And this is actually something that Hubble has been doing for the past few decades and something that has helped us understand how a lot of these planets transform and how they actually change with various seasons and throughout the year. But because, as you might have heard, Hubble is once again in trouble and is currently operating in the safe mode, a lot of this data was originally collected a little bit earlier. And interestingly, this is actually the third time Hubble is officially in the safe mode this year. This time the problem was because of something known as the synchronization messages that were not going through. And in the last few weeks the scientists might have actually fixed this problem, but currently the telescope is still in the safe mode. Anyway, we'll talk more about this in some of the future videos. For now, let's just focus on the discoveries. And in this case, the scientists refer to this as the grand tour of the solar system. The term that was originally proposed back in the 70s when the Voyager probes got to visit every planet out there and allowed us to understand what happens around these gas giants, uncovering some really interesting secrets in the process. And so since then, a lot of the data, a lot of the pictures were actually taken by telescopes like Hubble and they still help us understand what happens on the surface of these various planets, helping us understand how these planets change in time and what sort of effects they have on their surface. And so a few days ago, NASA has officially released even more images of these planets, continuing its annual tradition of this so-called grand tour by basically taking extremely detailed pictures of these four beautiful planets which allowed the scientists to see how they transformed over time, comparing them to some of the ones we've had from a few years ago. And just like with a lot of other NASA data, this one is of course available publicly and you can technically download all of these images in their raw format from the program known as Outer Planets Atmospheres Legacy, also known as OPAL. And so as you can see here, you can basically go through the data product and download anything you want with each cycle and each planet available from the link in the description below. And overall, this is a pretty interesting investigation for one simple reason. These worlds seem to transform pretty much every single year. Every time NASA comes back and looks at these monsters once again, the atmosphere changed just a little bit. For example, sometimes Jupiter acquires new storms, sometimes the actual atmosphere changes colors, and sometimes something unusual happens somewhere on the surface. And so in the last few decades, the scientists have discovered quite a lot of different mysteries that even today are somewhat difficult to answer. And this is of course mostly because these are gas giants with a lot of different gases interacting at all times and a lot of them reshuffling and moving around and also moving on top of an extremely hot compact core and thus producing a lot of unusual effects with the dynamics of these various effects not really understood even today. But it's definitely something astronomers are trying to figure out and trying to solve just to understand how all of this works on other planets as well. So let's start with Jupiter, the most massive and most influential planet in the solar system. And a lot of these new discoveries about Jupiter are mostly coming from this one photo taken in November of 2021. The photo that uncovered a few new storms near the Jupiter's equator. And at the same time, strangely enough, the Jupiter's equator seems to be changing color, with the region around the equator right here now becoming deep orange. And at the moment, the researchers are not entirely sure how to explain any of this. In all of the previous images, this area is usually either white or beige in color. It's never really this deep orange. And so even though the scientists expected more clouds here and a much different color, this is basically what Jupiter looks like right now. At the same time, they've discovered a few new storms that you see right here that are usually referred to as barges, which are these very unusual cyclone-like storms that once in a while appear on the surface but then disappear very quickly as well. Their actual origin and the way they operate on Jupiter is also not really understood today. And they also seem to have slightly different properties and they definitely have different appearance, which means that they probably have slightly different physical properties and potentially even have slightly different origins. And then there are also some discoveries from the Great Red Spot, where Hubble recently discovered that the winds here are actually speeding up and moving a little bit faster than before. And so even the Great Red Spot is transforming and becoming slightly different from what it used to be a few decades ago. The next on the list is Saturn, and the pictures of Saturn are from September of 2021. Here's actually what this beautiful shot looks like. 
And you can almost see right away the unusual patterns that Halbo has recently discovered. These unusual, extremely colorful bands in the northern hemisphere of the planet that seem to have quite an extreme change in color, quite dramatically different from the previous year or from the year before. So you can kind of see the transformation in just a few years. Those other pictures were from 2019 and 2020. And so one of the possible explanations here is that, well, the Northern Hemisphere is just undergoing its seasonal changes, where now it's technically early fall. Which in some sense is kind of ironic, because we know that fall on Earth is also usually very colorful. On the other hand, the Southern Hemisphere is going through its winter, and you can kind of see that it's sort of bluish in color. Oh, there was also kind of bluish in some of the previous photos as well. Either way, what this shows us is that Saturn seems to have very definitive seasons that change its atmosphere, making it look very different depending on the year. The next on the list is Uranus, the planet known for spinning on its side. This image was taken in October of 2021, and it does an amazing job at presenting the northern pole, which is literally pointing almost directly at us right now. But here it's currently springtime. And because of the increase in the ultraviolet light hitting the surface of the northern pole, the UV light that's coming from the sun, of course, it's essentially causing the entire north pole to brighten in color. Normally it would be more bluish. Although the actual mechanics of this are not really well understood. One explanation suggests that it's probably because of the changes in the atmospheric opacity because of the methane here. And as the methane interacts with the UV light, it might allow some of the other aerosols and some of the other gases to move higher to the top, changing the colors. Although interestingly, one thing that has not changed on Uranus in a very long time is this border right here. It's actually remained stable at approximately 43 degrees latitude for an extremely long time. And at the moment, it's not really understood how any of this works either. And then the last on the list is Neptune, the farthest planet from the sun. And here's that image that Hubble took in September of 2021. And one of the major discoveries here is in regards to the mysterious dark spot on Neptune, the spot that's barely visible right here. And unlike on Jupiter, these dark spots only last for a few years. But this particular dark spot has actually survived for a little bit longer, and surprisingly it has now reversed its motion, and in a recent image it's shown to be moving away from the equator while at the same time also showing us that the Northern Hemisphere has also changed colors, it became a little bit darker than before. And at the same time there's also another unusual darker circle right here in the Southern Pole, which suggests that something is happening on both poles of this planet, but once again, nobody really knows what's going on. And by the way, the reason that both Uranus and Neptune are sort of bluish in color is really because of the presence of methane in their atmosphere. Unlike other gas giants that are generally made out of a lot of hydrogen, the presence of large amounts of methane here ends up absorbing a lot of the red light, and thus releasing a lot of blue light for us to see. With the light scattering being very similar to how it works here in the Earth's atmosphere, it's known as the Rayleigh scattering. And so that's the natural of current observations, and some new mysteries for us to talk about in some of the future videos. For now that's all we know about these planets and how they changed in the last year, and chances are next year these images are going to be very different from before as well. So we'll talk more about this in some of the future videos. And until then, thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining a channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.